Hi everyone, how are you? I see you've already started talking in the chat. Welcome, hi, good morning, Shubha Navagosho to everyone out there, which is Bengali New Year's for those of you who aren't Bengali. Welcome to the first session of India's favorite summer camp organized by The Playbook. I'm your mentor and teacher for the day. My name is Rishav. And wow, I see you've already blown up the chat section for me. Thank you so much. Hi. So today we start off with Fiddle with Riddles, which is where you use your brains to solve some of the most mind-boggling riddles I have brought for you, right? Before we begin the session, however, I would love to interact with the wonderful kids joining us in the chat section. So please drop in your highs, drop in your thumbs ups. Tell me where you're from. Please tell me your names and tell me where you're from. I would love to have a chat with you. Go ahead. Ravi, Ravi Kumar from Dehradun. Hi, Ravi. How are you? Angsh and Hansika, good morning. Hi, seven years old. What's your name? San, you're seven years old. Hi. Indian, I, ha we see, I see we have an Indian Iron Man in the chat. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ravi, you're 10 years old, okay? Great, lovely, beautiful age. Hi. Dehradun again. Wow, we have a lot of people from Dehradun. Hi, Hansika from Delhi. How are you doing? From Rajasthan. What's your name though? Drop in your names as well. Come on. Coimbatore. Hi. Hi Sneha. How are you doing? Hi Adhya. Hi Nana. How are you? Hi Swati. Hi. Oh, Samarth. Hi Samarth. Hi. Ghatkopar Maharashtra. Hi. Hi Varun. How are you doing? You don't know how to change your name? That's alright. That's alright. What can I call you? Tell me what I can call you. Dhwani here from Mumbai. Hi Dhwani. How are you? Your name is Goldie. Lovely. Hi Adhya. Adhya from Mumbai. I'm six. Hi. Hi Devangshi. You are in Mumbai. Lovely. Lots of people from Mumbai, Dehradun, everywhere. Lovely. <laughs> Brilliant. Shalom. So are you guys excited for the summer camp? Talk to me in the chat. Are you excited? Sneha, 10 years old from Bangalore. Hi, Sneha. How are you? Samarth from Bangalore. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. All right. Shalom. So the summer camp starts from today, which is the 15th of April. Hi, Ryansh. How are you? Which is the 15th of April. And we continue till the 31st of May. Right? Hi, Nirvika. Hi, Chetan. Yes, chalo, lovely. So the summer camp starts from today, which is the 15th of April, as you all know, and we will continue till the 31st of May, right? The next 45 days are filled with exciting live sessions, thousands of worksheets, daily challenges, and so much more. During the summer camp, you know what, what all you learn during the summer camp? Are you excited about that? Right? Hi, 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 everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry if I missed anyone's name. There's so many people talking in the chat. Hi, so ex <laughs> lovely. Anusha is excited. Brilliant. Chetan from Vizag. Hi, everyone's a pro gamer in the chat. Lovely. Brilliant. I'm a gamer, but I'm definitely not a pro. Lovely. Okay. So he here we will improve your vocabulary, <coughs> right? You will get better in English. We will solve riddles. We will get better in maths. Don't look so scared. Maths can be fun as well, right? We will learn how to become a better speaker. Yes, my uke fell over, right. Solve quizzes and so much more, right. We will also have quiz competitions coming up. Registrations for those, by the way, will open on the 18th of April, right, for the general knowledge quiz and the festivals quiz. So are you guys ready to begin? Are you guys ready for the first session of the summer camp? Type in a yes in the chat box if you're ready. I want block letters. I want block letters in the chat only. Right? Hi everyone. Hi, 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 hi Nosin, hi. So many people joining us, lovely, hi. Yes ma'am, it is suitable for 12 year olds, definitely. Hi, 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 yes, chalo, lovely, brilliant, everybody's ready, perfect. Before we begin our session topic though, I would love to take you on a tour of the colorful world that is the playbook. Right. 
let's get started those of you who are new to our world this will help you understand the platform <clears throat> right so this is the world of the playbook dot fun right so what is the playbook let's learn about the playbook first shall we the playbook is a gamified social learning community for kids teens tweens what is that what is a gamified social learning community it means you learn through games and you share with an entire community right subscribers on the playbook dot fun don't just learn but they also practice apply and share with others here kids build lifelong habits at playbook you can read stories let's take you over to the story section this is the story section of the playbook we have wonderful story series written by some wonderful writers right the minute you open up a story you will see the different episodes the different chapters and once you finish reading a story you will see that you earn playbook coins now what are playbook coins to know that you have to stay tuned because i'll talk about that at the end right next we have crosswords what are crosswords i'm sure you've seen these in newspapers right so we have crosswords on very topics across the across all fields right anything you're interested in anything you're passionate about get over here solve a crossword test your knowledge next we have beautiful informational videos anything you want to know more about anything you are passionate about anything you're interested in get over here i'm sure we have a video for you every day hundreds of new videos are uploaded with under on all topics under the sky right so get over here to the video section and increase your knowledge below that we have the exciting quiz section this is the quiz section right you think you know something about a particular topic you think you're passionate about a particular topic right get over to the quiz section and find out test your knowledge challenge your friends see who gets more answers correct this is the quiz section right the playbook itself is a startup india recognized startup and with almost 2 lakh kids joining the platform every day we want to make screen time safe and meaningful here at the playbook we help children build lifelong habits and skills and give them a platform to shine in life parents should feel secure as well about their child's online exposure so for them we have real time feedback progress reports and recommendations our motto is happy kids happier parents happiest us right slowly and steadily we will educate you about the different things that you can do in the playbook world for now let's begin today's fiddle with riddle session are you ready everyone for the fiddle with riddle session are you ready to solve some riddles talk to me in the chat everyone ready yes Hi Rushil from Bangalore hi Hi everyone hi 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 so many highs my god the chat section is really blowing up Yes yes everybody ready everybody seems ready perfect Yes 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 you're ready perfect chalo let's start off Lovely everybody seems more than ready come on block letters only all right Sure Right welcome to fiddle with riddles here i'll give you some mind boggling riddles which you will have to solve using your brain power test out your brain power right the rules are pretty simple each question has four options to choose from You have one minute to choose the option that you think is the correct answer. As soon as you think you have the correct answer, make sure you let me know in the chat. Right? In the chat, just type out the correct option for me. Understood? Clear? The rules? Everybody, talk to me. Are you ready for the first question? Ready? Perfect. Chalo. Let's start. Brilliant. All right everybody seems more than ready lovely 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 love to see the excitement chalo So the first question pick the odd one out here you have to choose the option which does not fit in with the rest of the options So you have four options one of them is odd one of them doesn't fit in with the rest of the options 
you have to choose that right so your options here are a enid blyton b r k narayan c v v s lakshman and d agatha christie i'll read the options again a enid blyton b r k narayan c v v s lakshman and d agatha christie which do you think is the odd one out let me know in the chat i'm waiting for you for the answers from you you have 1 minute to answer right chetan says it's c what about the others come on dharani says it's b sarvesh says it's c c some some people are saying arkin arayan some people are saying vvs lakshman some people are saying agatha christie most of you are typing c vvs lakshman c c c b c c okay 10 more seconds and then i'll show the answer 10 more seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and a half 2 1 and a half 1 0 let's move on to the answer so the correct answer is yes most of you were correct c v v s lakshman all the others are well known authors vvs lakshman as you know is an indian cricketer a retired indian cricketer so any blighton rk narayan agatha christie these are authors right come on now you now you have to tell me which books you've read from these authors any blighton anybody and any blighton fan here anybody read books from any blighton or rk narayan or agatha christie anyone let me know in the chat any any blighton fans here I'm a big Anil Blyton fan. R. K. Lakshman is a cartoonist. R. K. Narayan is an author. See, yes, we have the answer now. Yes, any Anil Blyton fans? Come on, no Anil Blyton fans. I grew up with Anil Blyton. I grew up with Anil Blyton and R. K. Narayan and Agatha Christie. Actually, I grew up with these authors. You've read the Famous Five series, haven't you? Famous Five, Secret Seven, no? Please go and read these beautiful books. Famous Five, Secret Seven, Swami and Friends, Malguri Days. Beautiful books. Okay, are you ready for the next question now? Everybody ready? Swami and Friends. Yes, exactly. Yes. You read a book of Agatha Christie's. Lovely, brilliant. Agatha Christie is one of my favorite authors. Right. All right. Shallow. Can we move on to the next one? Next question. Ready everyone? Chal. Yes, everybody ready. Question number 2. Pick the odd pair. Here, you have to choose the pair which does not share the same relationship as the rest of the pairs. It's a bit complicated, so make sure you pay attention. All right, everyone, I forgot to ask you before. Are you are you sitting with a notebook in case you need to do something in case you need to note something down good here you have to choose the pair which does not share the same relationship as the rest of the pairs let's look at an example for this one right if the options are a house room b school classroom c train carriage and d continent ocean here d continent and ocean is the odd pair why is it the odd pair In all the other pairs the second is a part of the first right the room is a part of the house a classroom is a part of the school a carriage is a part of the train ocean is not a part of the continent continent and ocean are not related in the same way got it everyone understood the rules this was not the question this was just an example this was just an example i'll give you the question after this so everybody you've understood the rules right for this one let's move on to the actual question now This is the actual question that you have to answer. Your options are captain team, headmistress school, CEO company and lawyer court. Note the options very carefully. Captain team, headmistress school, <coughs> CEO company, lawyer court. Go ahead. Give me your answers. You have one minute. One minute. 
some people say B, some are saying D. Come on, go ahead. I want more answers. <coughs> Apologize. D. D. Okay. I see some are B, some giving me D. I see some more weight on D. D, D, B, 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 D. Not D, but B. Okay. Lawyer court. Okay. C, D, B, C, D, B. So D and B are the heavyweights here, right? D and B are the heavyweights. Correct. D and B are the heavyweights. I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of Bs. All right, 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's see the answer. The correct answer is D, lawyer court. In all the other pairs, the first is the head of the second, right? The captain is the head of the team. The headmistress is the head of the school. The CEO is the head of a company. And the lawyer, they are not the head of the court, right? They just work at the court, right? So the, the lawyer and court, the last pair, does not share the same relationship as the rest. Okay? Understood? Yes, you could say judge, court. Very good answer. You could say judge and court. Although there's not specifically a person who is the head of the court. So I don't know if that stands. But yes, that, that would be a viable option. Right? So everybody, ready? Understood? This was an interesting question. Bit more difficult than the last one, right? Let's move on to the next one. Ready for the next question, everybody? Sure, take it. Question number three. This question is more complicated. As we move on, we'll increase the difficulty of the questions, right? This is family relations. I'll give you a complex relationship and you have to figure out what A is to B. Rahul points at a picture of a woman and says, she is the wife of my grandfather's only son. Who is she to Rahul? Listen to this again very, 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 very carefully. Rahul points at a picture of a woman and says, she is the wife of my grandfather's only son. Who is she to Rahul? Your options are A. Mother B. Aunt C. Cousin and D. Sister Rahul points at a picture of a woman and says She is the wife of my grandfather's only son. Who is she to Rahul? A. B. Mother Mother I'm seeing a lot of A's I'm seeing a few B's I'm seeing A's, B's, A and B are the heavyweights right now. Mother, mother, A, B, B, A. I'm seeing loads of A's. Everybody's inching towards A. Okay, all right. All right. All right. You're pretty smart kids. This was the most complicated question yet and you're answering so quickly. Okay, A, A, A. Everybody's A, everybody's A, everybody's A. All right. Okay, A. I'm seeing a lot of A's. Okay, someone says aunt. I'm seeing A's. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's look at the answer. The correct answer is yes, you were all right. Almost A, mother. Rahul's grandfather's only son is his father, right? And his father's wife is his mother, right? Pretty easy, right, when I tell you the solution? The correct answer is A, mother. So congratulations to all of you who got it right. Those of you who didn't, don't be disheartened. It's all right. It was a difficult question. You'll get the next one. Okay? So are you guys ready for the next question? Let's move on. Perfect. Most of you got this one right. Yeah. Question number four. Let's do analogies. Now, what is an analogy? What are analogies? An analogy is a comparison between two things that are similar between two things that are similar. Now note the question very, very carefully. An architect is to a building what a sculptor is to a dash. So an architect shares a relationship with a building. A sculptor 
shares the same relationship with what? Is it A, a museum, B, stone, C, chisel, and D, statue? An architect is to a building what a sculptor is to a dash. All right, you've already started answering. Lovely. Hansika says it's statue. Statue, option D, option D, option D, loads of Ds. D, all of you are hinting towards D. Some, some say A, D, D, statue, D. Some says B, B. Okay, chalo. More, 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 more. Come on, where's the enthusiasm, guys? I, I want more answers. D, D. Okay, I'm seeing loads of Ds. So D is the heavyweight for this one. Lovely. D, 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 D. I'm seeing loads of Ds. D, I think. D, I think, is the winner for this one. Right. Okay, I won't give you too much time for this then. Most of you are you're finding these very easy. I'll have to up, the, up my game. I have, to, I have to give you complicated questions now. D. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Someone's asking what a chisel is. The chisel is the tool with which a sculptor designs a statue, which is the correct option. The correct answer is D, statue. An architect designs a building, right? Designs a building. A sculptor designs a statue. Chisel is the tool with which they do it, with which they fine-tune the stone to build the statue. Someone asked what a chisel is. That's what a chisel is, okay? Everybody understood? Let's move on to the next question. Ready? Most of you got this one right as well. Congratulations to all of you. Chalo. Let's move on to the next one. Question number five. Read the statements below very carefully and choose the most appropriate option. So your fact here, I will give you a fact. And then I will give you two statements. Based on the fact, you will have to figure out whether the first statement is true, whether the second statement is true, whether both the statements are true or whether none of the statements are true. So your fact here is Raj sometimes says the truth. Raj sometimes says the truth. Statement one on this is Raj is always truthful. Statement two is Raj may lie sometimes. Your options are A only statement one is true. B only statement two is true. C, both are true and D, neither is true. So Raj sometimes says the truth. Your statements are, r number one, Raj is always truthful. Number two, Raj may lie sometimes. Give me the answers in the chat. Very. Oh, you've already started. You don't, don't you didn't even need to wait for me. Lovely. B, 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 B. I'm seeing loads of Bs, loads of Bs. One D, option B, option B, option B, option B, option B, option B. Everybody is focusing on option B, lovely. B, 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 perfect. B, I'm seeing loads of Bs. Come on, more, more, more. I need more answers from you. There's so many of you watching. <laughs> B, only statement two is true. B, 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 someone says D, some say B. Maybe D, but mind is saying B. <laughs> okay, always follow your mind, your heart. B, B, A, B, 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 lovely. All of you are saying B. Sure. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's look at the answer. The correct answer is option B. Congratulations to all of you. Only statement 2 is true. If Raj sometimes says the truth, it means that he may sometimes lie as well. So Raj is not someone we want to emulate in our lives, right? We don't want to say lies. Chal. Now, now that you've solved this quiz, now that you've been so successful in solving this quiz, let me teach you how to make your own quiz. Let's go back to the playbook.fun and create our own quizzes. Yes, you heard me right. You can create your own quizzes and you can send them to your friends and challenge them to test out their knowledge, right? So let's quickly go back to the playbook platform. Here in the quiz section, you'll see the create your own quiz, right? The create your own quiz. Click on this and you come to, sorry, you come to this section. 
Here, you can decide whether you want to make your quiz a multiple choice question quiz, where you choose the correct option from four options, or whether you want it to be a true or false quiz, where you type in a statement and the answer is either true or false, right? So for now, let's click on multiple choice questions. Next, question number one. This is the section where you'll be, you'll be typing your question. Question number one. Let's do another pick the odd one out, right? Pick the odd one out. Now here, you can add an image. If there's a picture that needs to go with your question, you can choose this. You can browse from your computer and you can upload a file here. Now you put in the options. So here, let's do mango, guava, lettuce, and banana. These are the four options. Now you have to select the right answer. Which is the right answer here? Let me know in the chat. Among these, which is the odd one out? Mango, guava, lettuce, and banana. Which is the odd one out? Come on. Go ahead, tell me. Select the right answer. Which is the right answer here? A, B, C, or D. Which one? Option A, option B, option C, option D. A, mango, B, guava, C, lettuce, and D, banana. Which is the right option here? C. C, 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 all of you are saying C, all of you are saying C, 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 okay, all right, cello, the correct answer is option C, lettuce, yes, why, the rest are fruits, right, lettuce is a vegetable, you know, so here, you select the correct option as C, next, we go to add a question, remember, the minimum number of questions you can add is 3, and the maximum is 10, so, we click on add a question, let's do another, let's do a true or false, oh, okay, let's do an MCQ, cello, Let's do another one. Pick the odd pair. Let's do a pick the odd pair. Right? Again, we move on to the options. Let's do um, sweater, wool, shirt, cotton, chair, wood, and table, plates. So you have to pick the odd pair. You remember the rules for pick the odd pair, right? Good morning. Hi. Sweater, wool. Shirt, cotton. Chair, wood. And table, plates. Which is the right option here? Go ahead, tell me. Option C. I'm seeing C's in the chat. Which is the right option? Which is the odd pair? Come on, quickly. Show me the answers in the chat. Some say D, some say D, okay. Option D, some are saying C. Most of you are saying D. D, D, D. You're right, it is D. Sweaters are made of wool. Shirts are made of cotton. Chair is made of wood. But table is not made of plates, right? So here the relationship is the first is made of the second, right? But table and plates do not share the same relationship. Yes, it's D. Very well done, all of you. So, we have another question here. Now, we click on add question. Let's add a true or false question. All roses are flowers. Does this mean that most flowers are red? This is your question. And here, you have to select whether the statement is true or false. So all roses are flowers. Does that mean that most flowers are red? Is it true or false? Is this question, is the statement true or false? All roses are flowers. Does this mean that most flowers are red? Is it true or false? Go ahead. Give me an answer in the chat. Come on. True or false? Which one do you think it is? If you think it's true, type T. If you think it's false, you can type F. Go ahead, chalo. T or F? False. Hansika says it's false. Dharani says it's false. F, F. False. False, 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 false. I'm seeing false. Correct, the right answer is false. Just because all roses are flowers, that doesn't mean that most flowers are red, right? There are so many millions and billions of flowers over the planet. You know? Very well done. So now, 
After you're done with question 3, if you want to add more questions, you can. For this test, however, I'll keep it to 3 questions. You click on I'm done. Next, you can give your quiz a title. This is a logical reasoning quiz. You can name it anything, fiddle with riddles, whatever you want. You write in a description for the chat so that it makes it easier for those who are solving your quiz to understand what the quiz is about. Next, you select a category, right? Is it a quiz on automobiles? Is it a quiz on comedy? Is it a health and lifestyle quiz? Is it a quiz on India? Is it a quiz on books and stories? So this is a logical reasoning quiz, right? So we click on logical reasoning. Here, you have to choose the thumbnail. The thumbnail is a small image that appears on the quiz section, right? Behind the name of the quiz. So here you can either choose to keep the thumbnail automated, where the algorithm chooses the thumbnail itself, or you can choose your own picture. After this, you click on submit. Now for submitting, you see, you will earn 60 to 220 coins for creating a quiz. Now, I did not forget, what are these coins? What are playbook coins? Are these just a virtual currency with no meaning? Which doesn't do anything? Wrong. To know what the coins do, you need to go over this section, which is the store. The minute you click on the store, here you see the wonderful world that the coins can get you. The store is full of wonderful, wonderful and incredible, amazing products that you can buy, that you can redeem with using just your coins. So you don't need to ask your parents for pocket money anymore, right? You don't need to ask your parents for pocket money anymore. You can buy your own stuff using these coins by doing what? Just reading, learning, sharing, creating, right? What do we have here? Let's see what we have here, right? We have mugs. We have beautiful mugs. We have Indian mythology books. We have books of short stories. Uh, we have Jenga. I panic a lot playing Jenga. Any, you like playing Jenga? All of you, have you played Jenga before? Do you enjoy playing Jenga? I panic a lot during Jenga. I'm not very good at Jenga. It's a bit difficult for me. Right. We have a smartwatch. We have boat headphones, guys. Come on. We have a scooter. And the grand prize of it all, once you read, learn, share, create, and you get to 70,000 coins, you can get yourself an, a Kindle. You can get yourself a Kindle. You can have an entire world of books with you right in your pocket with the Kindle, right? So that is what the playbook coins can do. So you guys excited about this store? You want to buy these stuff with coins? You don't need to ask your parents for pocket money anymore. You can buy these things for your own self, right? So just head over to the playbook section, head over to the playbook.fun, create stories, read stories, solve crosswords, solve some quizzes, earn your coins and get your own stuff, right? Sure. Now, that was a tour, that was just a trailer of what the playbook is really about, right? A small snippet of what the playbook world is truly about. To know more, you have to stay tuned to our channel. You have to stay tuned to the summer camp for the next 45 days. Make sure you don't miss a single session because every day we will be educating you about the, all the different things that you can do on the playbook.fun, right? Now, before we go, before I end this session, let me know in the chat box if you had fun, if you enjoyed this session, if you learned some stuff. Let me know in the chat box, it would really help us. Go ahead, talk to me in the chat. Did you enjoy, did you have fun, did you learn something new? Are you excited for the rest of the summer camp? Are you excited for the subsequent sessions after this? Let me know in the chat, talk to me. How to get coins, you'll have to visit, this. You'll have to visit the playbook.fun. You'll have to create your own account, become a subscriber, and then anything you do here, right? You read a story, whether you read a story, whether you solve a crossword, whether you solve a quiz, whether you create a quiz, whether you create a story, anything you do gets you coins, right? So, all, yes, you can create many quizzes and get coins for every quiz, correct? Yes, you can, right? So every time you do something on this platform, you earn coins, right? You enjoyed a lot? Lovely. I'm very happy for that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Someone says they're going to head out to get coins. Lovely. Yes, please, please do. Right after this session ends though. Okay? Yes, you can get coins. Yes. Lovely. I'm glad you had a lot of fun. Before you go, guys, before I end this session, head over to the community section on the summer camp, uh, on the playbook.fun. Here you have the summer camp topic, right? You click on this and here, you'll have the worksheets for every session, 
you'll have worksheets uploaded for every session okay so this was our first session right filled with riddles so this is the worksheet for the first session so apart from the five quizzes that you played uh, five questions that you solved in the session you have 10 more questions 10 more special questions that you can solve on the playbook.fun right so visit the community section and start the quiz play the quiz finish the quiz earn your coins remember anything you do on the platform will get you coins right Again, last thing before we end, today at 6 p.m., we have the incredible India quiz finals out of 429 schools and 6,583 participants. The top 10 will be battling it out for the badge of glory. So make sure you visit that. Make sure you cheer, you cheer your friends on, right? And make sure you learn something in every session. My name is Rishav. I will see you again in the next session, right? <laughs> There is a Harry Potter quiz. Yes, there is a Harry Potter quiz. Please go over to the platform and play the Harry Potter quiz if you're a Harry Potter fan. Just as if you're as big a Potterhead as I am. Right? Brilliant. Lovely. Chalo. I'll see you again in the next session. My name is Rishav. I have been your mentor and teacher for the day. I hope you had fun, everyone. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Hasta la vista, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.